Hi everyone, this is Aya and in today's video I'm going to show you three ways to create slimline envelopes. But before we start, please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment down below. And let's get started. The tools I'm going to use today, one, two, three, a punch board, paper trimmer, scoring board, and bone folder, and of course, papers. For the papers, I'm using Graphic 45 uh, papers collection. So this is the first collection called Bloom, solid and pattern. I love all these beautiful colors. I am a fan of uh, dark colors. <laughs> But if you like uh, light colors, you can use Ephemera Queen. You see very bright and you can see it's a very well used paper. So I have here my paper and I'm going to cut it to be eight and a half inch by nine and a half inch. Don't bother, you know, writing anything. Everything is written in uh, my blog post or Graphic 45 blog post and everything will be linked in the description box. Then after, you know, you cut your paper, you're going to score some lines. You're going to make it horizontally and vertically. Uh, after that, uh, you going, you're going, you know, to cut the corner and make like thin triangles. Uh, so it, it, because this, this is small triangles, uh, will give you like a room to insert your card. Then after that, you can uh, round the corner if you would like. I will leave them like this. Then after that, I'm going to take my bone folder and I, you know, try to, uh, you know, press very hard in all the corners. This is an option if you want, you know, take another step to decorate your envelope. You can use paper punch. This is um, an old paper doily punch by Martha Stewart. Definitely you can use um, uh, maybe decorative die or edge die and decorate uh, your envelope. This is really made with love. And here I have my card and let's test it. It work, works perfectly. Great. Now let's move to the second envelope. I'm going to use uh, this collection, Bloom. And I'm going to pick this beautiful color. It's like uh, aubergine of uh, eggplant color. <laughs> If you, if you don't have, you know, a paper trimmer, you can just use, you know, a ruler. For me, it's more easier. I will do the same. I have the same paper size. Again, I'm going to score, uh, you know, horizontally and vertically. Uh, then I will repeat the same process. I'm going, you know, to cut uh, the corners and create uh you know these small uh, or cut the angles or create small tiny um, triangles
Okay, for the last card, I'm going to use one, two, three uh, punch uh, board, and I'm going to cut my paper to the size uh, nine and three quarter by nine and three quarters. So I'm going to line up my left side of the paper at three and a one and an eighth inch and I'm going to punch and the second opening in this circle punch I'm going to score. Then I'm going to turn my paper 90 degrees and I'm going to do the same thing. However, when I line up my paper the mark I did or the fold, um, not the fold, sorry, the score I did, I wanted to line up or match the first slot or opening in this circle punch. And then I'm going to, uh, uh, to score again from the second uh, slot. Turn it again, I'm going to line up my score to line up with the first opening or the first slot punch then score from the second or uh, the second slot again turn my page as on my page turn my paper punch then score You will notice that the, the triangles are long so i'm going you know to score the line then i'm going to trim it or you can just use a scissor and uh, cut it Then you have the end of this triangle. You can cut it or, you know, fold it as I did here and put a sticker or you can, you know, put your, uh, there's like wax stamp, you know, whatever <laughs> you want. And again, I'm going to add my card and it works perfectly. my favorite car my favorite card my favorite envelope is the one where you, where where i used one two three punch board let me know what's your favorite envelope thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you have any question please leave it in the comment uh, section below and i will catch you next time bye